Hello friends, today we are going to see the MCQ of uh, construction planning and scheduling. So the first question, who introduced the board chart? So first one, option A, William Henry, option B, Henry Gant, option C, Jane Gant, option D, Joseph Henry. So the correct answer is option B, Henry Gant. So next question, the full form of PERT is Option A, Program Evaluation and Red Technology. Option B, Program Evaluation and Robot Technic. Option C, Program Evaluation and Robot Technology. Option D, Program Evaluation and Review Techniques. So the correct answer is Option D, Program Evaluation and Review Techniques. So next question, the full form of CPM is, so Option A, Critical Path Method. Option B, Control Path Method. Option C, Critical Plan Management. Option D, Control Path Management. So the correct answer is Option A, Critical Path Method. So next question, in bar chart, which color is used to show the actual progress? Option A, Red. Option B, Black. Option C, Blue. Option D, Green. So the correct answer is Option A, Red. So next question, Dash or use it to represent the activity in the network diagram. Option A, circle. Option B, squares. Option C, rectangle. Option D, arrows. So the correct answer is option D, arrows. So next question. The shortest possible time in which the activity can be achieved under ideal circumstances is known as option A, pessimistic time estimate. Option B, optimistic time estimate. Option C, expected time estimate. Option D, most likely time estimate. So the correct answer is option B, optimistic time estimate. So next question, according to the time estimates made by the PERT planners, the maximum time that would be needed to complete the activity is called option A, most likely time estimate, option B, optimistic time estimate, option C, pessimistic time estimate, option D, expected time estimate. So the correct answer is option C, pessimistic time estimate. So next question, the difference between the maximum time available and the actual time needed to perform the activity is known as option A, free float, option B, independent float, option C, total float, option D, half float. So the correct answer is option C, total float. So next question, which of the following data is not required to prepare the estimate? Option A, amplitude. Option B, Drawing. Option C, Specification. Option D, Rates. So the correct answer is Option A, Amplitude. Because Drawing, Specification, Rates are most important to prepare the estimate. So next question, the process of working out the cost per unit of each time is known as Option A, Work. Option B, Sheet. Option C, Data. Option D, Analysis. So the correct answer is Option C, Data. So next question, while fixing the rate per unit of item, the quantity of material and labor needed for the one unit of item as per strictly per option A, special data book, option B, standard data book, option C, special data record, option D, specific data record. So the correct answer is option B, standard data book. Next question, in the case of works, which requires some special types of equipment an amount of percent is estimated cost is given option a 1 to 2 percentage option b 5 to 9 percentage option c 12 to 18 percentage option d 16 to 20 percentage so the correct answer is option a 1 to 2 percentage so next question which of the following is not method used for preparing the approximate estimate option a cubical content method option b unit based method Option C, plinth area method. Option D, cylindrical base method. So the correct answer is option D, cylindrical base method. So next question. In the plinth area method, the cost of construction is computed by the multiplication of option A, plinth length and rate. Option B, plinth breadth and rate. Option C, plinth area and plinth area rate. Option D, plinth volume and plinth length rate. So the correct answer is option C, plinth area and plinth area rate. So next question, as per IS 
1966 which of the following area should not be included while calculating the plinth area of the building option a percos of non cantilever type option a area of uh, porosity and the terrace level option c area of walls at the floor level option d area of lofts so the correct answer is option d area of lofts so next question which of the following is not a method of working out quantities like earthwork and brickwork in the plinth option a long wall short wall method option b center line method option c thick wall thin wall method option d party line and short wall method so the correct answer is option d partly center line and short wall method so next question to get the quantities the length found using the long wall short wall method are multiplied with option a with option b weight option c thickness option d breadth and depth so the correct answer is option d breadth and depth so next question which of the following is not classification of labor option a skilled first class option b skilled second class option c unskilled option d skilled fourth class so the correct answer is option d unskilled fourth class labor so next question the unit of payment of cement concrete in the lintels is option a per square meter option b per cubic meter option c quintal option d kilograms so the correct answer is option b per cubic meter so next question the single unit work such as doors and windows are expected in option a numbers option b meters option c meter square option d meter cube so the correct answer is option a numbers so again we will see in next video thank you